You okay? Woo! Oh, hi. You know, I tend to have pretty good luck at the thrift store. Thank you, thrift gods. But how hard is it really to find exactly what you're looking for in a place that makes no promises? The thrift store is a fickle lover. Today, I'm looking for a couple very specific things for holiday gifts. Let's do a little experiment. How many can I find? How many thrift stores do I have to go to to find them all? Fingers crossed that my RNG is high today. We don't have to run all over town, but hey, that'd be fun too, you know? Okay. Get out of the lingerie. We got things to look for. So specifically, I'm looking for, here's my list, a beautiful wool or cotton or cashmere even blanket or throw. Vintage would be amazing. I'm looking for some little like bourbon glasses, not snifters, but just little, just little sippers. I'm hoping to find a hat, glove, and a scarf set matching if possible. And there's something else, but I can't remember right now. And I know I got a bunch of cozy, warm, like sweater-like items in the last video. Be free to go watch if you're interested. But I'd like to find a couple more. I mean, if I'm gonna find any, now is the time to do it. I think this is like a hand knitted scarf hood. Look at these colors. Attention all customers. Sorry. I am kind of tempted to get one of these universal thread, like hood balaclava things. How much are you? Six bucks. It's a maybe for me. But the main reason I even came to this specific thrift store was not to look at the clothes, but because I wanted to look at the blankets. What have we got here? Oh. How cute. I love the little gathering they have here. So cute. This is a baby quilt, not really what I'm looking for. Cute, also baby sized. Is this the biggest scarf I've ever seen? How much like a cartoon character is this gonna make me look? Onward. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot you. You okay? Bestie, we were doing so well. You look very crooked. I'm worried about you. We've got one, whoops, like this nice mossy green down throw. I'm a sucker for a down throw. Oh, there's a burn hole in it. Something that may not be a deal breaker for me personally, but if we're giving it as a gift. My other choice was this kind of waffly quilty guy. Really pretty color, very cozy, but I was really hoping for natural materials and this is polyester. So I guess if you're picky, things get a little more difficult. But there are options. There are certainly options. I'm not sure how I ended up in the coats and the sweaters, but here, here we are. Here I stand. I shouldn't be looking for myself, but hey, I'm looking for myself. Now that's a good tag. Gotta, gotta check the pocket. Past me would have gotten that just because it was cool and vintage. So I got distracted, but current me, still distracted. Current me has learned her lesson and we can just appreciate things and then let someone else get it who will really love it and enjoy it. That's the hope. What am I supposed to be here for? Oh, bourbon glasses. Let's go look at that. Look what I just found. The most Christmassy set to ever exist. We're trying this. What size are you? Yeah, that should work. Whenever I see Bryn Connolly, this tag, you know you're in for something special. Okay, let's look at glassware. Okay, we're gonna look with our eyes. We're not touching with our sticky little sticky little paws. How we break things. Watch, I'm gonna break something. I don't think I've ever actually broken something in a thrift store. Knock on wood. Maybe I should just find some ramekins and call it a day. Also, I know there's a whole hullabaloo about Stanley cups, and I don't want one. I mean, it, I would take one. Oh my gosh. She's looking for one too. I already have vessels to drink water out of, but it's just kind of like this little side quest I have in my mind right now to find one at the thrift store. My friend who lives in Denver just sent me a picture of hers that she found at the thrift store and I was like, oh, you lucky dog. Do any of you have those at the thrift store? Random side quest items. I guess a coat hanger, a coat rack is also on that list for me, but that's like a main quest that you don't um, finish until the end game because it's nigh impossible. All right, I'm distracted. We're supposed to be looking at glass. Is 
Should we try this little Christmas set? I have a feeling it might be a little big, but I don't know yet if it's in a cute way or in a way that I do not like. Okay. Little buttons up your side. Hmm. Part of me is like, I could rework it a little bit and change the shape a little bit. Not make it like a bunch of size smaller. You're just gonna maybe bring the drop waist up just a little bit. I've also been really into dresses with this type of skirt, the like V in the front. I don't know if that's like a princess cut. I'm sure I could Google it and find out very quickly. Editing Kathleen. Thank you. I was like, oh, I could take off the skirt and like redo it in that way. Not gonna lie, it sounds like a lot of work. Let's see how it looks with the, the, this, the shirt. Eh, I don't think so. Okay, last thing I found is for Gus. It's this little vintage oversized grandpa sweater, but I thought it was kind of cool with the wibbly wobbly black and white. Feels kind of contemporary, right? And if he doesn't want it, you know what we do? We repo, we take it back and we make it ours. We're at our second location. Uh-oh, I took you to a second location. You know what that means. I like these plates. I like a plate with a designated wall. So you can mash your stuff up against the edge and get a big heaping spoon. For some reason, it's always this specific thrift store that features one child playing with an extremely loud toy over and over again. I believe it's a lightsaber this time. I think I can keep my cool this time. Wow, who are you? Let's see, let's see. The pickings are slim and deadly today. So far in our experiment of finding exactly what we need at the thrift store, I found a headband and scarf at the last place. So check that off the list. And then we're still looking for our bourbon glasses. And I did get a really cool holiday sweater at the last place that I didn't show you. How pretty are these? It looks like spun cotton candy. This has nothing to do with anything you care about, probably, but I do look for greeting cards, blank cards at the thrift store. And I'm running low and I just found these that are silk patterned. Feels very fashion-y. Feels appropriate. We'll get those. Lava lamp. Why is this one of the coolest vacuum cleaners I've ever seen? The pinstripe bag. His name is Kirby. All right, what's the blanky situation? Oh, this is soft and cute and possibly perfect. Ah, oh, it's acrylic though. I kind of love this race car flame blanket. I have been well and truly skunked. This is kind of an amazing tablecloth. Do I need this? Ooh, some really nice sorrel, sorrel boots. Speaking of that, I feel like it's important to also mention, especially if you live somewhere like me that gets really cold, that thrifting for things like blankets and coats, especially really warm ones or sleeping bags, I try to keep to a minimum because I know a lot of people come here and rely on the accessibility of those items to stay warm. And I'm not saying you can't buy them. First of all, I'm not your mom. And second of all, I trust you to keep moderation in mind. That's right, I said it, I trust you, even though you're very stinky. All right, on to the next. So far in our challenge, we've hit two thrift stores. Fingers crossed for the next spot. Let's go. We're now at what I consider to be the bad boy of all Goodwills. Why do I say that? Well, I don't know. There's just a rebellious spirit in here. Also, my camera's about to die. <laughs> Extremely toot. I saw a guy steal somebody's purse here one time. Just kind of got to stay on your toes. This is exactly what I've been looking for. We're at our last spot. And I already looked in the glassware. Nada. I'm gonna go look at the blankets, but I got distracted by this. Sorry. I should just pick you up instead of it because you're tiny and small and perfect. I'm always looking for... I'm always looking for this like flat file style drawers. This is a game table, so you can like take these out and put them on top. But I would just use it for like paper storage and art supply storage. It's only 15 bucks. 15, not 50. I think I must purchase it. I also just found these little wooden dowel holders or rod holders. I feel like these would just be cool to hang stuff on the wall. This one's definitely handmade, but I don't think the colors are quite it. This one's cute, but I don't think the colors are it either. I like it. I just don't think they would like it. I don't know where we left off, but we're clearly not at the thrift store anymore. Because when the thrift store fails, why not check out a vintage slash consignment shop that's sure to have some beautiful glassware. 
Look at the foot, the little peats. Oh my gosh. Okay, part of the reason I wanted to come here is because this is my friend's booth called Clown Boat Vintage. And there used to be a balloon lamp here. Oh, I thought for sure I could come snack it. But I also just saw this. This is incredible. Okay, time to look for glassware. Perfect. Have you been there all night? Morning. It's far too early to be standing. If I cannot be in bed, I will at least sit on the ground. Come, let us sit. One thing about me is that I'm gonna sit down. Join me. Join me in the muck and the mire. And before anyone asks where my shirt's from, because it's amazing, I finally was able to snag one of the Maifanwi, I think is how you pronounce it, marbled t-shirts. I've been such a fan for so long. I literally set an alarm on my phone for when the drop was happening and it paid off. Hi, good morning. You want to talk about what, what we did yesterday? Let's debrief. Our main question to be answered was how hard is it really to thrift what you want at the thrift store? One of the main qualms I guess I hear from people about thrifting is I can never find anything or I get discouraged and you're not wrong. You know? Even when you're a seasoned thrifter, well seasoned, like grandma's cast iron, such as myself, you don't know what you're gonna find there. And even if you know all of your local thrift shops like the back of your hand and what's good at each one, still no promises. But on the flip side, you never know what you're gonna find there. As in, there could be treasure. There could be the most perfectest low guy there just waiting for you. So for our list, the items themselves weren't super rare, like low ball, glassware, a nice blanket, a nice sweater, but then you layer on the extreme uh, curation or pickiness that I have. It's like, I know exactly what I want and I know it when I see it and I know it when I do not see it. And I think that's really where the difficulty is because there were tons of blankets there that were nice enough, but none of them were perfect. So if you wanna play hard mode like I do, prepare to wait prepare to have to go thrifting multiple times or prepare to resort to curated options like vintage co-ops, online secondhand shopping, that sort of thing. Nothing wrong with it. You just have to think about how much time you have, how much effort you want to put into something, what your budget is. All of these things are factors. And that's the only kind of algebra I like. Is that algebra? Is when thrifting is involved. So let's talk about what I actually found, shall we? We struck out on the blankets, so I have nothing to show you there. I was able to find a really nice headband and scarf. I could not find gloves that matched for, I don't think she's watching this, my mother-in-law. I have her for Secret Santa. I actually have both of the moms in my life for both of my Secret Santas, my mom and my mother-in-law. I'm mommed up. And here's a hot tip for Secret Santa, especially if there's a low cost limit or budget. What I like to do is I like to get something cheap at the thrift store and almost like not even count it towards the budget because it's what, like five bucks, not a big deal. And then spend the whole budget or most of the budget on like an ancillary item. So for example, you could get really nice cocktail glasses at the thrift store, like crystal or something, but you get it for virtually nothing. And then spend the majority of your budget on a really nice bottle of wine or some sort of cocktail mix. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm gonna do the scarf and the headband as like, almost like a freebie little gift and then do a nice gift card as well. I found this super cute made in Italy wool headband. The brand is this. It's wool, it's felted, it's got this little flower decal. I think she's gonna look so cute with it. And then this big old blanket scarf. Really pretty with these huge tonal stripes. And these were separate pieces at the thrift store, but look how well they go together. I think she'll love it. And then for the cocktail glasses, the thing that I did not think was gonna be hard, but proved to be difficult, I ended up finding at Little Light Collective, which I think ca I called a consignment shop, but it's actually a vintage co-op. This is where I tell people to go if they're visiting Columbus or the Columbus area, and they wanna just like look at some cute stuff and might not have a ton of time to like actually thrift. Little Light Collective, the booths are awesome. There's like a very bustling, robust 
secondhand reselling community here in Columbus. And a lot of the best stuff goes to Little Light Collective and um, Eclectique Antique Mall, which are very close to each other. But I think I found the perfect lowball glasses. I was a little nervous about this silver rim. Sometimes I've seen these types of glasses at the thrift store and the rim is really like worn away, which makes me worry that it's like actually paint on the outside and that it might contain lead. So I'm gonna get a lead testing kit just in case before I actually gift this. I was thinking that might be something good to throw into your like thrifting bag if you do a lot of this second secondhand home decor purchasing. It's too bright. Those little lead testing Q-tips, I can't speak to their efficacy, but it's better safe than sorry in those kind of situations, you know? These are perfect. These are for Gus, don't tell him. I also treated myself to this little seed bead pinky ring. It's so teeny tiny. I just love the colors. I don't really have any beaded jewelry like this. Very toot. So those are the things I got that were like actually the things I was looking for. However, like I mentioned at the start, oh wait, no, also, I did end up getting a really nice sweater as well for myself. That is lamb's wool and angora. This is really cute, floppy turtleneck, sea foamy, minty green guy, and it has little shoulder pads. You know how I feel. This is not typically a color I would go for, this pastel -y color, but like I said last week, I've just been drawn to like greens and blues and purples recently. And then our last find, made in the USA, wintery sweater. This feels après ski, like you'd throw it on at the ski lodge. I am not speaking from experience because that's not something I do. But I like how light the holiday flavoring is. Like, yeah, if you look close enough, you see snowflakes and holly, but if you just glance at this, it's just a cool vintage sweater. Perfect. Got me hooks. Adding this to a pile that's been growing for a, over a year of office makeover items. It's gonna happen. You're just gonna have to wait. I got the silk stationery that we talked about. And this was a splurge, but I think it'll be perfect for said office makeover. And I wanted to support my friends. So I got the swivelly dice box. That's actually a poker set. It has poker chips and stuff inside. I believe this is from like the early 2000s. How cute. My first thought was to take the lid off and store like all of my colored pencils in here and they could be sticking up and I could swivel it around. But I like having the lid on as well. If you have any ideas for what I can store in here, lidded, let me know. Forgot to mention that I totally also got this. It's a fun little layering piece. Y'all, I have exciting news. As a special winter holiday treat, you're not only gonna get a video from me next weekend, but keep an eye out during the week for another video featuring me, myself, and I, as well as another friend coming to the YouTube ether in a couple days. If you wanna know more, come follow me on Instagram. I'll announce it when it's live. I hope you enjoyed this thrifting challenge today. Let me know down below if you're on the hunt for super specific things at the thrift store, either for holiday gifts or just in general. Maybe we can manifest some thrift god benevolence for us all. And also let me know if you're just doing any secondhand gift giving in general this holiday season. If you had fun with me this week, then please feel free to subscribe so you'll be sure to be notified when I post next. And that's it, I'm gonna go. You should go too, but don't forget to bundle up before you go. It's cold out there and you're very stinky. All right, I love you. bye.